Roger sent in this question. Um, okay, so he he created a pitch trailer for a feature dramedy project that he's working on. And he said, now I need guidance with how to strategically leverage the pitch trailer in an effort to get the project set up at a production company. One, do I harvest email addresses and send to select targets? Which targets are most reasonable at this point? Or, and is it best practice to send the trailer as an email attachment or as a video link in the email body? So who wants to talk about using a, a pitch trailer or sizzle reel or anything like that as leveraging your project? This is a finished script and then he created a sizzle for the script. Yes. It's pretty much the same level of outreach. I think you're still trying to get someone interested in a screenplay. Um, it's just that much better that you have an easy way for someone to view the content. Yeah, and I, would say, I would say ask them if you can send them that. Don't send it in that first thing because they may just delete it immediately because they can't. You know, yeah, it might be a conflict. So always yeah. ask before you attach anything because, you know, with everything going on, people don't open attachments unless they know the person. There are some them. companies who have <laughs> email servers that literally don't allow attachments to mm -hmm. come in from unrecognized emails. So it'd be a waste anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But anytime um, you can shoot anything or put together a proof of concept, sizzle, trailer, a short, a scene, all of that has value. And again, it's showing that you understand you have a really clear sense of the tone of the story that you're trying to tell, you know, and make sure it's good. Like ask your friends to be honest with you or go to outside sources because we've had some people send us stuff and the scripts are amazing. And then we see a trailer they put together and it's like, oh my God, we can't, that's no, I'm not going to show that. Um, so you, you have to, you have to ask for honest feedback and make sure that it's ready. If you're not a filmmaker, it's great to explore that. It's also a good opportunity to learn about, uh, you know, your characters to see if dialogue is working, all that stuff, but know if it's ready. Don't just iMovie edit it together and think that it is ready because you did it. That's great. It's a great learning experience, but no, but trust, you got to find your people who you trust, you know? If, and if and when you do decide and, and know that it's ready, there are some short film contests that you could submit yeah. to and, and yes, try to get a little bit there. It's a, it's a good with way a high to... level executive. Yeah, it's a good way for screenwriters to utilize short film contests because usually that short film or just features in general is a director's medium. And so the writer sadly doesn't get as much notoriety unless she wrote and directed it. Um, but you can try to get your trailer into a short film contest, yeah.